Hey pretties, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me, my name is Tanya and I film all kinds of pink, girly, beauty, fashion, and lifestyle videos on this channel. So if that's something you're into, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and turn on bell notifications so you don't miss any of my videos. My eyeball there. So, it is storming. Literally, cats and dogs outside. It is pouring. So if you guys hear the storm, but I really wanted to get this video filmed today so we can post tomorrow, which is Thursday. It's Wednesday right now. Of course it is Wednesday, so we're wearing pink. And yes, this is the same shirt that I wore in my last Get Ready With Me. Don't judge me. I really like this shirt a lot. So I'll link it down below because I know you guys might ask about that. So I'm going to start linking all my outfits and stuff I'm wearing down below, including my nails if I can find them. My lip color, which is a new lipstick. I know this is so off topic, but I got in the mail the new MAC Barbie collection lipstick. And of course, I had to wear it. Not the typical pink I would wear, but honestly, I don't hate it. This video is not about all that. In today's video, I'm showing you guys my entire Too Faced makeup collection. I'm going to be sharing with you guys every Too Faced product that I own. You guys know Too Faced is one of my favorite cosmetic brands. Honestly, I just want all of it, but I don't have all of it, unfortunately. Maybe someday, but I'm going to show you what I do have. I did have more Too Faced stuff a while back but um, I did get rid of some expired makeup so some of it went with it and also a very very long time ago all my palettes were stolen so I don't have none of those which were all like limited edition stuff anyway so it's not like you can get your hands on it so anyway let's go ahead and get started I don't even know what category like I have so many Too Faced things I'll overlay clip here like I have it all scattered on my couch and I don't even know what category to go in. I think we're gonna do eyes, lips, and then face. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do eyes first. Figured it might be fun to start the eye category with all of the Too Faced palettes that I have right here. So I'm just gonna set them down here. And I kinda have some boxes I want to find really quick because it's like all my packaging. I guess I will begin with like the Christmas stuff I got from last year. I do have a couple other Christmas palettes, or one. I have one other Christmas palette from a very, very long time ago. But the first Christmas palette I have is this one. This is the Christmas Star Palette. This came with a mini mascara and a lip gloss. I do have the lip gloss. I used up the mini mascara. The lip gloss I will show you once we get to the lip part though. So this is what it looks like right here. It has a little gingerbread woman and storm is crazy so she opens up like this and turns into a star I really do enjoy this palette there's a pelo in it my pelo of course I do really enjoy this palette I do like these shadows I think they blend very well of course these are you know very uh, maroon -y ish colors as you can see it does have some yes. highlighters um, I don't really care for the one that's lit up. I really like this one though. It's called Let It Glow. Anyway, I have an entire tutorial using all of the Too Faced holiday makeup. So I'm going to link that below if you guys wanted to know more. I don't even think this stuff is available anymore. But if it is, it might be discounted. So I might as well give it a shot. The next palette that I have is the Gingerbread extra spicy palette i actually don't own any of the other gingerbread palettes i know there's like another one or maybe two of them or maybe it's just one i don't know but i only own the extra spicy one when i looked at the previous one i wasn't too intrigued by it but i really did uh love the colors in this one they're just really really warm and beautiful and honestly this is one of my favorite Too faced palettes that i own I don't know if this is still available, but it's just really, really nice. Of course, this is the packaging. And I just love their palettes that come in these tin rectangular boxes because they all have been very good quality. I did have the original chocolate bar palette that came in packaging like this, and I have no idea where that went. 
So that's another one of the palettes that's missing, but the extra spicy palette's really nice. Speaking of those tin containers, I do have another holiday palette, but we'll get back to that. Speaking of the tin container palettes, I have these two. I don't even think either of these are available anymore. So I'm really sorry, but these are my two favorite Too Faced palettes from all of them. And this one especially, I use this one like crazy. This is a semi-sweet chocolate bar palette. It is extremely, extremely beat up, but I just feel like it's so solid. It has a little hint of warm, but I really love neutrals and not too orangey of eyeshadows, kind of like what I'm wearing right now. I don't really like super orangey shadows. It just depends on the look I'm going for, I guess. But on a daily basis, I like more neutral tones, nothing too orange, nothing too mauve i just like in the middle and this is the perfect palette for that and it contains their black shadow in licorice and that is my favorite black eyeshadow like ever it's so good so intense this is the Too faced chocolate bonbon palettes come on like you cannot lie this is the most adorable palette ever and when you open it it's even more adorable it has all of these little hearts and these are all of the colors again this just has those go-to colors for me those mauves and um, neutrals and pinks and i just really really love this palette and i love that it has like the vanilla color because every good palette should have a vanilla color so yeah again really good quality and very blendable i really like the formula of Too faced eyeshadows i think that they're just made right Okay, so back to the holiday palette. I have this very last kit that I bought. This is a Too Faced Gingerbread Lane palette set. It's like a set. It comes with three mini palettes and they are scented. One smells like berry pie, one smells like banana bread, and the other smells like sugar cookie. So this one, wait, which one's which? Okay, yeah. This one right here is the Sugar Cookie Palette, and it does have a to and from, so you could gift these individually if you would like as stocking stuffers. And I always love the colors they put in these little palettes. They're just really unique. Like, look at these purples, and they are, they are actually really pigmented. Like, they actually look really nice on the eyes. And again, I do have a video using their holiday stuff. But again, I love when they come out with these little mini palettes. They always just are so good, like quality-wise. So here is the Banana Nut palette. And this is my favorite one for obvious reasons. It has all the neutrals that I would need. I would actually... Oh my gosh, I can't talk. I have actually taken this traveling. That's how much I really like it. It has the perfect vanilla shade. Um, perfect transition shade and just deeper brown I guess to darken and add depth and then it does have a beautiful bronze color and this is just the most perfect blush this is the kind of blush color that I really like so I do really like this palette I actually want to reach for it more this was kind of hidden here for a little while because I've been trying new palettes but I really want to go back to using that palette because I really like it and then here is the berry palette and this one looks like this has a bit brighter of a blush but the eyeshadows are all really really pretty in this one I just love love this pink you guys like look at that pink such a pretty pink color Next palette I have, this is my least favorite Too Faced palette that I've ever purchased. This is the Too Faced Pretty Mess palette. I believe this was a collaboration with someone named Erica Jane or something like that. I don't know. Anyway, this is a beautiful palette as you can see. However, the mattes are a no-go for me. Like, I just cannot get, especially this dark one right here. This color is just a hot mess. Like, it just does not blend right. And, you know, the rest of the palette's actually okay besides that one color. But I just wasn't impressed by this palette. So, I still keep it because I like the other shades. And, of course, it's really pretty. And I do use it. It's just my least favorite. Next, I have the Natural Love Palette. I believe they have another big palette like this. Let me know if 
like which one it is it must be like a volume two or something of this palette but i adore this palette this is such a good neutral palette it just has every single neutral you could ever need and it does have a good mixture of mattes and satins and it looks like it's just mattes and satins i don't feel like there's anything too metallic or shimmery in here maybe just this fairy tale color might be like the only one yeah I do reach for this a lot you can probably tell it's a little beat up i do really like this one i love that it has like the pinks in it because you guys know i wear a lot of pink and well i guess Too Faced is kind of like the brand for me because i do wear a lot of pink and they do make a lot of pink makeup so yes i really love this one i say if you are a beginner and you need a good neutral palette you should probably get this or one of the chocolate bar palettes even the original chocolate bar palette which i believe they still sell oh my gosh such a good palette so next i have this one this is probably my most treasured Too Faced palette because this was my first Too Faced holiday palette i ever purchased and i remember ever since my tumblr days when i used to be on tumblr and like i got my first job and all of that buying a Too Faced palette was a dream for me especially from the holidays because at the time i just thought 60 bucks was so expensive like it's still expensive but i can afford it now and so this was my very first Too Faced palette that i saved my money up for and i treasure it and it is shattered i didn't even know it has been through a lot so i'm gonna try to fix that shadow <sighs> Oof. i don't know if i should have done that but <sighs> I don't use that blue that shattered in there so I'm just gonna like I'm just gonna let it die real quick into the trash can or at least the part of it that's broken <sighs> I'm gonna have to clean up this palette but this is such a beautiful palette this is actually not very touched I did have another one of these that actually got stolen that was extremely beat up from where i used it so much but then i purchased another one on glambot i don't know if you guys know glambot people sell like their barely touched sanitized makeup and i ended up buying this again because i just really wanted it and that's the only place i could find it now there's all kinds of places like poshmark and stuff but see i didn't know about all that at the time so anyway that's the story behind this palette it came in the most prettiest packaging i actually think i have the packaging so wait a minute obsessed i was with this so this is the packaging that it came in and you just remove the lid i actually have like a dior makeup bag in there <laughs> but you remove the lid and you opened it and it was like a dollhouse like it has like the little staircase with the little dress and the little sephora shopping bag and Too faced and i was just so obsessed with this and then on these little stairs it came with like I don't know. I think it must have been like just like an eyeshadow primer and a mascara or something. Not too sure, but it did come with some some little extra goodies. And then the palette just sits inside of it like this. And then you just has a little tab here so you can pull the palette out. Oh god! Now I got it stuck in there. <laughs> there you go. So yeah, it just pulls out like that. I actually think I'm going to keep this in there to avoid it from making a mess anywhere else. And yeah, this I treasure this palette. This palette is more of a collectible item for me. I do use it, but not as much because I don't want to mess it up. But yeah, this is just like a, a treasure to me. I really love, love this palette. And I, I just, it was a milestone for me to be able to buy this, so... That's kind of why I don't touch it as much. But it's not because I don't like it. I have a few more smaller Too Faced eye products. I have their Better Than Sex Mascara. I do really love the way this makes my lashes look. However, it smudges a little bit on my inner corner. So I do intend and plan on replacing this one with the waterproof one to prevent that. Because I love the results so much. I want to give the waterproof one a go and see if that solves my issue. I also have this. This actually came with one of those palettes I told you guys that actually got stolen a while ago. And this is just a little like angled brush. I think the palette was called Cat Eyes and it was leopard. And I remember how obsessed I was with wanting to find and buy that palette. 
because of the leopard i used to be obsessed with leopard if you guys have been here since then you are the real mvp that was a long time ago but i loved leopard print so much like it was legit an obsession and i got that palette just because of that because the colors in it weren't even colors that i would normally wear because i think it was really bold because it was called the cat eye palette so yeah and then lastly this is a newer product that i purchased this is their better than sex eyeliner and it is like a little pen applicator type of situation here and I'll admit this has quickly become my new favorite eyeliner. It's just so easy and simple. I use it every day. Every single time that I do my makeup, I like to line at least here in the inner corner because I like how it makes my eyes look bigger. And I use this for that because it's just so precise and so easy to use. And it also has not dried out and I've had it for a while already, like, I don't know, two or three weeks. So it's doing really, really good for me using it almost every day. All right, so next we have the lip category and I have some lip glosses, some lipsticks. I don't have much in the lip category. I do want more, but I guess I've just been caught up in other lipsticks so I haven't bought any Too Faced but if you guys have any recommendations let me know so first of all I have these three glosses so here's what the glosses look like and the packaging on these oh, it's incredible I mean main, most of the reason I bought this was because of the packaging but I did swatch these <laughs> my friend Charla has like a ton of these I think she has them in like every color and I did swatch them and I love them and I got the three colors that I really loved. It is, um, this one is in the color All the Stars. And it's just a super, super pretty, like, iridescent gloss. All of them are kind of iridescent, except for the pink one. The pink one is called Two Night Stand. And then the gold one is called Net Worth. Go ahead and swatch these and show you guys closer up For the swatches so this very top one is the color all the stars this one is in two night stand and then the bottom one is net worth lips i have two of the two faced like bullet lipsticks that look like this these are pretty old i haven't used these in a while i'll be honest but i remember wanting these so freaking bad so i'm gonna swatch them on my wrist this one is in the color Cinnamon Kiss, and it's a beautiful fall color. I actually don't know why I don't wear these more often. And then this one is in the color Fuchsia Shock, and this used to be like an everyday color for me back in the day. I don't wear hot pinks like this anymore. So here's what they look like. We have Cinnamon Kiss and Fuchsia Shock. One more lip gloss. This is the gloss that... I told you guys came in that holiday star palette, Christmas star palette, and it's just a pretty like pink, purpley, blue monochromatic. I'll show you guys what it looks like next to the other three glosses. Maybe you can see the difference. It's similar to this one, but it's not as light. So here it is up here. This is all of the stars, two nights done, net worth. All together and then the very very last um, lip product I have is the Too Faced hangover pillow balm this is worth every single penny I put this on at night or while I'm doing my face makeup that way by the time I get to my lips my lips are super hydrated and super soft I'm telling you guys this is worth every penny I highly recommend this this was sold out for a while now I see why wipe off all this gunk before I get lip gloss all over my clothes and lipstick mm, those lipsticks smell good oh I think it was that holiday one it smells good like berries and mint okay moving on to face I figured I'd start off with like all the skincare products or more like skin prep skincare products that I have the first thing I have is this tiny sample of the hangover primer I have had full sizes of this and I really do like it. I want to repurchase it actually. I just haven't yet because I have other primers I'm using right now. Um, next is this. So this is the newest thing I purchased. This is the Hangover Pillow Cream. 
Charlotte totally made me do this <laughs> and worth every penny. I've already tried it. This is the mm -hmm. most hydrating, most bomb freaking overnight moisturizer ever. Mm -hmm. You could even use this in the day if you're that dry, but it does say night cream. And I don't know what it is about this that makes my skin just feel so plump and so hydrating. And it just smells so freaking good. Like, I don't know what's in this, but it smells good. So it says to avoid the eye area. So yeah, you guys should definitely try that. Two of their setting prepping sprays. So I have the Hangover 3-in-1. This has been a favorite for a very, very long time. I've been using this for as long as I can remember. Even on clients, I've just been using this forever. This is a new one I just got. This is the Do You Fresh Glow Setting Spray. This actually reminds me a lot of the Watermelon Glow Mist by Glow Recipe. Even the mist is like really fine. Like You guys can see how fine that mist is. The mist on this one is not as fine. It's a little more, <coughs> sorry, it's a little more harsh and wet. I inhaled that. This one smells more like coconuts and sunscreen. The other one smells just like watermelon. So I almost forgot this because it was in my skincare fridge. This is the Too Faced Hangover Good in a Bed. And mm. this right here makes your skin look and feel like glass. If you wanted like the, mm. the glass skin, this is definitely it already bought quite a few of these i really really like it this one's actually already finishing up so i need to replenish this because this is so good i just love the Too faced skincare line i haven't tried the face wash or i don't know if there's anything else but i haven't tried the face wash i really want to try it though let me know what you guys think about it down below if you think i should try it or not you guys have heard me go on and on about this freaking concealer but it's so good this is the born this way concealer this concealer changed my life forever whenever i first bought it this is what the bottles look like i have backups upon backups upon backups i use this concealer on every single one of my clients it looks flawless it blends amazing coverage on this concealer is perfect i cannot stress enough how good this concealer is and if you haven't tried it girl you need to try this concealer so i have the colors almond and porcelain but right now i use the color light beige because i'm tan just so you guys know here i would show you guys these these are ancient but these are more like a collectible thing for me this was another one of those oh my gosh purchase because i paid around 200 dollars for all of these i bought the i can't remember what they were calling it at the time but it was their either their bronzer book or bronzer vault something like that but it came in a really awesome big pink box if i can find a picture of what it looks like i'll put it here but you can tell these are old because this is their old packaging and it just came with all of their bronzers all seven of them there might have been nine might have lost a couple since I've moved in everything because I've had these just for freaking ever and truly I don't even use them anymore I'm too scared to because um, oh yeah I bought these in 2013 <laughs> yeah this shelf month is 12 months so these are way expired so I haven't used these but look you can tell I haven't used them they're brand new this mm. one is snow bunny mm. and they do have a really large mirror this is the Dark Chocolate Soleil. This one is Beach Bunny, which this one I did use quite a bit back in the day. I don't use it anymore though. You can tell it has a little bit of a dent in it. This one is Endless Summer. Again, this is another one that I did put a little bit of a dent in. This one is Chocolate Soleil, but this one I used almost to the depth of it. Oh, I have two chocolate soleils. I did not even know that. Okay. We have Sun Bunny. We have Pink Leopard. And I remember how excited I was for this one because it just looks so, so freaking pretty. Like in pictures and it just looks pretty. But this, I feel like is more like a blush. I used to have a little trio palette. If I can find it, I'll insert it. But it came with three bronzers and one of them was this one and it came like in the middle or the side I think. 
and I was so obsessed with getting my hands on that three bronzer palette or whatever it was called because of how beautiful like the packaging looked but once I got it that actual leopard one it serves more as a blush because of like the pinks that are in it so if you're thinking about finding and buying it or anything like that just know that that leopard one is more like a blush so I have a couple of their little peach products right here this is a cream bronzer and this actually fell out of the pan and it still works like like it's not dried out or anything so I'm not sure why it like unstuck from the bottom of the pan like that but I really do like this this reminds me a lot of my um, Soleil Tan de Chanel except it's a little darker so this is what that looks like and I keep it because I do use it or else I would have just thrown it out because it, I mean it's kind of broken Ooh, nose itch so this is the Too Faced Peach My Cheeks blush and I adore like the, this color of blush in the summertime. I do, you can tell I've used this, like just mm. the top of it. I used this a lot mm. last summer. It's just a really beautiful, beautiful peachy subtle blush. It kind of gives you like that glow from within. If you have dry skin, you appreciate cream products a lot. So it's like a melting creamy powdery blush and it's infused with peach and fig cream so it's kind of like hydrating it's just a really good summer product it's one of those blushes you can use without foundation if you know what i mean so i kind of have miscellaneous products here these are all face products by the way but they're not like anything that i have like two or three of or a collection of if that makes sense so i have the Too Faced primed and poreless powder I love this for all over the face, not so much for under the eyes unless you're just lightly setting. This next product is like a holy grail from Too Faced for me. This is definitely a favorite. This is the Candlelight Glow and I mean, can you tell that I love it? I don't know if they make this anymore. I really hope they do because I want to buy another one. This is so freaking good, you guys. I'm obsessed with this. I have been for a very very long time. So, I have this right here. This is the only thing Too Faced has ever sent me in PR. Yes, mm. just this one item. Mm. And this is the Sweetheart Perfect Flush Blush. And I don't know if they still have this mm. color or if it's just repackaged or what. But I do really mm. love this blush. I love this blush. Definitely get this. It's so good. So next I have something that came in my BoxyCharm. This is the Too Faced Diamond Light Diamond Fire Highlighter. This is in the color Fancy Pink Diamond. I did go to Ulta because I know they have two other ones and I looked at them and I didn't care for them that much. This one is probably my favorite. I think the only other one I would purchase is the one in the yellow package. And this is so stunning. It's like a beautiful rose gold it's on my middle finger there right here beautiful rose gold color I'll put it on my hand so you guys can see I don't know if you guys will be able to see but it's just a really beautiful subtle glow and this packaging is just everything like it's beautiful it reminds me of like a jewelry box or something like that like a fancy jewelry box really love that i don't get rid of the box either like the box that it comes with because it's just so pretty and fancy and then it says um it's your time to shine here on the lid all right so i also have this other holiday item that i purchased this last holiday season it's their gingerbread powder you guys this smells so good it even tastes good it is a kissable body shimmer and it tastes good like it's literally kissable so i'm gonna open it so when you open it it looks like this and then it has this little top it says okay this was just like the little thing to cover the sifter which i just stuck it on the top and then it has a little uh, poof pom-pom whatever you want to call it and you just use this and it actually makes you look really really shimmery i get some some on i don't know if you'll be able to see it but it's just very very pretty 
I love the idea of something like this. I do use this a lot um, on date nights and stuff. Not now because we are quarantined, but you know, we can have dates at home. I'll still use it. Last item that I have is the newest thing I've purchased. This is the Too Faced. Born this way. Turn up the lights. It's a complexion enhancing highlighting palette and I got the color medium. I'm actually wearing it on my face today. Right here. Just run your, br your brush through all three of them or just use one. This one is personally my favorite. The color, it's called Glow. It's just like, again, what I'm wearing now. It's just really glowy and it's perfect for my complexion. And they do have it in light, medium, and tan. And I don't know if they have a deep, but they do have a few different ones pretty so really love the packaging of this it's so sleek and right, guys so that is everything for my Too Faced collection if you feel there's something that I really need to try let me know down below and I will try to get my hands on it let you guys know that I'm not posting or trying to be insensitive or trying to you know I'm not ignorant to what's going on in the world right now I know Everything that's happening right now, I am staying informed and as educated as possible about everything. However, this right here, this channel, my beauty room, like filming videos, editing them, this calms my anxiety. This is my sanity. So I'm not going to stop making videos for you guys because I feel like maybe we all also need a bit of a positive distraction. So I just wanted to let you guys know that I'm definitely aware. My heart goes out to all of you that have been affected by this. And my heart goes out to, you know, everybody in, you know, the most affected areas like Italy. And I know there's other ones, but um, I can't think off the top of my head all of them. But I know there's so many places in the world right now being affected by this. I know that there's some of us that have anxiety from all of this stuff going on because we don't know what's going to happen and it seems scary. I just want you guys to remember that we should not panic over the things we cannot control. Panicking is not going to solve anything so you know just try to laugh and spend time with your loved ones and remain as positive as we can. I love you guys so much. I really do hope that all of you guys are doing well and that, oh my gosh, I pray that this passes because I just, I don't even know what to say. I just, you know, it's it's heartbreaking really to, to just go online on Facebook and everywhere and just see everything that's going on. So hopefully I can add a little bit of a distraction to your feed and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I am so sorry to any of you guys affected by everything going on around the world right now but I, like I said, I'm gonna keep posting some videos to keep you guys entertained. I love y'all. If you guys stay till the end, don't forget to leave the emoji. I love seeing um, who of you guys stay till the end and showing back some love to you guys in the comment section. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram if you guys want even more content. Um, I love y'all and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.